Today we will cover the different chart settings within the ActiveCaptain app. For this video, we will be using a compatible Apple iPhone, but the process is similar for Android devices. First, open the ActiveCaptain app. Select Chart. Open the menu and select Chart Settings. The first section is Chart Layers. Chart Layers allows you to view additional details on the chart screen. The information shown will depend on the chart layer you have selected and which chart you have purchased. For example, the fishing chart layers include fishing contours, where the navigation chart doesn't. Premium chart features like relief shading will have their own layer options. Now scroll down to User Data Layers. Enabling waypoints will show your waypoints on the chart. You can choose if the waypoint appears as a symbol, name, or comment. Now we have NavAid settings. These settings tell the Active Captain app how to display navigation aids like buoy markers, light beacons, and more. There are two NavAid types. The first is National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, and the International Association of Lighthouse Authorities, or IALA. NOAA is designed specifically for the U.S. coastal waters. This is the default setting for Garmin chart plotters used in the U.S. IALA is used for international waters. For more information on NAVAID types and the symbols they use, please click on the link below. The light sector settings enables the device to display a ring around a navigation light. The circle indicates how bright the light is from the light beacon. The larger the circle around the light beacon, the brighter the light. The light sector setting has a few different options. We can turn the light sectors on or off. Auto will turn the ring on or off based on the zoom scale. Toggling flashing lights will have the NAVAID symbols flashing on the chart. And locate general settings. Night mode enables the chart to display in a color palette that is optimized for low light to make key navigation features more visible and reduce eye strain. You can either turn this setting on or off or set to auto to change based on the time of day. There are two chart orientation options. North up will have the chart always oriented so north is at the top. Selecting head up will rotate the chart based on where the boat is pointed. The detail slider adjusts the amount of detail shown on the map at different zoom levels. The chart size slider sets the visible size of the chart. Finally, the Show Speed Heading toggle displays your speed and heading information as an overlay on the chart screen. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more help, please visit marinesupport.garmin.com.